Temperature right now is 39 degrees. Oh boy, it's cold. And what time is it? 10, 10 40? 10, yeah. 50? Yep. <laughs> hey, we're leaving Anchorage, headed for Palmer. It's about a 45 miles. We're going to cast off from there. The reason we're doing that is there's a nice, actually, bike path along uh, the Glen Highway. But you're still biking on a bike path next to six lanes of highway traffic. So we're going to move past that and get to scenic Palmer, which I think is a highly underrated mountain town. And if Outside Magazine finds out, it would rank number one, I think, or top three. And then we're going to find a nice pullout, and then we're going to send off Darren with me and our two older children, Clay and Honey. And we're going to ride, you know, 15, 20 miles down the road and get out into scenic Alaska. We found a really cool video of someone and previewed our entire route, and it really looks fantastic. And we're hoping the weather holds for Darren. It should be a really good time. So we've driven about 40-50 miles outside of Anchorage and we are all loading up on the bikes right now, the entire family. <laughs> and we're gonna go, we're gonna ride together for about two hours, or maybe an hour, two hours. And then, uh, <laughs> yeah, and then I'll say goodbye and I'll be on my own. So do you think you could ride your bike all the way across Alaska after the first, what, eight miles? <laughs> no. <laughs> I think I'd probably poop out and decide to go back and just do mountain biking. Yeah. I don't like the road. just begun here and it's incredibly scenic, really nice. We're going up a steep hill now. Oh, God. We're tired. Yeah. I'm not just kidding, it's tired. No, I'm tired. <laughs> Yeah, it's all right. I write it all the time. There you go. Clay's riding my bike right now. He's amazed at how heavy it is. <laughs> <laughs> so what's your story? Oh, so I picked up this bike, this book called Just Ride, and this would be more from uh, Michael at BicycleTouringAmateur.com. <laughs> <laughs> and he said, uh, when you're riding down the road uh, and you're on a narrow shoulder, a good trick to use is, you know, don't wear a helmet. And a lot of cyclists are going to disagree with you right so, there. So don't wear a helmet, yeah. uh, don't wear a fancy bike garb, mm -hmm. and that when you're riding down the road, you know, you should be doing things like, you know, drinking your water and kind of swerving like this, or on your phone and texting like that, <laughs> and you're swerving like that, and you look like you're a total hack, 
cars are not going to like whiz by you because if you're like riding like i watch you ride yeah and you ride just like it don't move yeah you're, you're just steady straight on running that white line yep. and somebody goes oh bitch i could pass that guy going 90. yeah but if i'm going down here like i'm half drunk you know texting on my phone people are going to go i don't want to kill a, a bicyclist so they move all the way over and they slow way down yeah and so in the rear i was doing that a little bit i don't see it <laughs> purposely yeah just keep some wide berth for some of these cars Who's that on the ground? <laughs> Michael's taking it for a spin here. Wow, you really have a lot of play on your brakes. I know, they aren't very good right now. Riding this 100 pound fully loaded touring bicycle is very different than riding a bike with no weight on it. Let's see what he has to say about this. And just like that, I'm alone in Alaska. On my own now. I'm going to cycle for about another hour it's about five o'clock at night right now maybe go for another hour hour and a half and then find a place to camp so i'm on the road now completely alone in alaska it's about 5 p.m at night it's nice out it's pretty nice It's weird to go from being surrounded by the Johnson family to being completely by myself and knowing that I'm going to be completely alone for the next two weeks. It's highly unlikely I will run into any other bicycle tourists at this time of year here in Alaska. Check out this view. It's so beautiful. So I've reached the first scenic overlook. It is beautiful. It's very nice out, there's very few cars. The only bad thing is there are these like mosquitoes. I don't think they are mosquitoes, they're just some kind of bug and they're annoying and not so nice. But other than that, it's beautiful. Check out this view behind me. So there's the sign to Glen Allen, 107 miles away. That is the next town where food is available. So I have to go about probably two days before I get food. Six o'clock now, it's getting dark, getting cold. I'm gonna start looking for a place to camp. I've only gone 30 miles today. So very short distance for my first day, but that's okay. Um, just gonna find a place to camp and get warm.
All right, so I have my tent set up here in the woods. I am literally like just off the road, like not even 50 feet away from the road. Um, I'm hoping that that will deter some of the animals from the area. Obviously bears and moose and stuff like that cross roads, but hopefully the traffic noise will keep them away a little bit. So I've set up my tent and I put all of my food and toiletries into one of my pannier bags, my front pannier bags. And I'm going to walk down the road, I think this direction actually, um, go up there somewhere, eat a little bit, uh, make a sandwich, and then hang my food somewhere up in that direction so that tomorrow, once I cycle up the road the way I'm going, um, I can stop, you know, 100, 200, 300 meters, yards up the road, um, pick up my food bag, and continue on the way. I'm just sitting here by the side of the road eating about, I don't know, 300 meters or so down the road from my campsite, which is back in the direction I just came from. Um, I think tonight is going to be scary, and I'm just trying not to think too much about bears. All I've heard about Alaska is that there are bears everywhere. Um, I hope that's not true. I really hope that's not true. <laughs> so here's my dinner. Just a veggie sandwich. Nothing warm tonight. Mmm. That tastes so good. I'm gonna eat three of these sandwiches today. So hungry right now. So I just finished eating. Now I'm going to try to find some place to hang my food bag. Unfortunately, I'm surrounded by like aspen trees. They don't really have branches that anything can be hung off of. So I might just hide my food behind a tree or something and hope it's there in the morning. So I've just thrown my rope up over this tree branch way up here. And now I'm going to try to hoist this heavy pannier up into the tree. So my food bag, food and toiletries are now hanging up in this tree far from my campsite. It's getting dark um, and getting very cold so got my bear spray. I'm gonna walk back to my camp and climb inside my tent and try to get warm. Oh, my main concern really is not that the bears are gonna get my food but that um, people are going to find my pannier hanging in the tree and they're going to take it. So hopefully that doesn't happen. Hopefully someone will figure out that's my food and that's my stuff and, and they won't take it. So we'll see. It is getting really dark and really cold really fast trying to rush back to my campsite here. So my campsite tonight is right over here, like up in these trees, somewhere back in there, just a few feet off the road. And again, like I've said in other videos, I like to camp above the road, not below the road, because the cars passing by here, they can't see up there, but they can see over here. So my tent is like somewhere up here, somewhere. There's my tent right there. It scared me because I saw the black thing and that's the bicycle behind it. But it kind of looks like a bear. <laughs> okay. I need to remember that those tree stumps are there because if I look at night, I bet you money I'll think that's a bear. Okay, so here's my camp, bike, tent. I am going to, I'm gonna climb inside now, change into my warm clothes, and get ready for nightfall. 
It was a good day, good first day in Alaska. Um, I was with the Johnson family for the last two nights. They were hosting me there in Anchorage. Today they drove the entire family about 50 miles north out of Anchorage. And the four of us, Hani, Clay, uh, Michael, and myself, rode bikes um, while the other ladies uh, stayed in the car. And we cycled about 26 kilometer, or 26 miles, I'm sorry, together. And then I cycled another five or so on my own before pitching my tent in the forest. And there's cars passing. Um, I'm just a short distance off the road. But that being said, I am still like petrified right now. All you think of, you know, all I think of now when I go to about Alaska is bears. Everybody mentions the bears. And so it's getting dark, I'm in the forest, there's like no one out here except the occasional passing car. And I'm just scared, honestly, like, and I'm scared not just for tonight, but for the next two weeks, because I'm going to be camping by myself in the forest. Sometimes I think like, what did I get myself into here? <laughs> you know, like, I want to come to Alaska, but the camping is scaring me a little bit and normally I enjoy camping very much um, for some reason I just have it in my head that this place for for whatever reason is more dangerous than anywhere else that I've ever been um, whether that's true or not I don't know um, but everybody everybody says be careful so um, it's gonna be a long night Look at these modern day bike tourists all on their phone over here. <laughs> That's my navigation device. Yeah. There's a big old eagle right there. Really good up here. Yeah. Big old guy. There's a bunch of eagles around here, but this guy is right off the road. <laughs> 